and the fault code snap. Yeah, that is a busted motor mount. Is you must puncture a hole inside the steering wheel. Start up in three, two, one. What is up guys? Welcome back to a new episode from Backyard Boys. As I'm sitting here in the BMW 1M, Man, does this car give me some crazy, crazy flashbacks of the M2. This car literally got dropped off in the same exact area as the M2 and we started wrenching on it over here and then it went to the shop and we started doing the rest of the work there. Um, I usually have an order of operation, things like when the car comes in and if it has suspension damage, I like to get the car on its wheels first and then in the second step, I would do the interior. But this car has no suspension damage. Hopefully, I mean, it seems like it rolls, so it has no problem so far, but it does have blown airbags. And if you guys saw my previous episode, you guys saw that I got free airbags with the car. Guys, it's amazing. But anyways, so in this episode, our goal is to change all the airbags. And then I got the Vanna solenoids. Yes, I'm mistaken. Those were not camshaft solenoids or whatever. In the moment, I just kind of blurted it out. But anyways, those are Vanna solenoids, solenoids, and I got those and I'm gonna change those. I got wires for those and um, connectors and things like that. So I'm gonna rewire everything and make sure everything works. But guys, if you guys are new to this channel, please smash that subscribe button because we're gonna start rolling with this project. We got a lot of work. I'm gonna show you guys um, kind of what the order of work is for today. And guys, I may or may not have my merch uh, website out right now. So I don't know guys, just be sure to check in the bio down I mean, in the description area. And it should be the first link if it is out. And if it's not, then by next Sunday, 100%, I will have them out. But anyways guys, this is kind of the order of operation that we're gonna be doing today. Um, so this right here, this inlet came, it has a crack down here. It's most likely e leaking air. Actually not most likely, it's 100% leaking air. But anyways, these two Vano solenoids came in as well. A um, Couple more things came, this AC line came. So our goal right now is to go ahead and do all of this up here and then we're gonna go back and change the change the uh, safety battery terminal or battery safety terminal and hope this puppy fires up because one of you guys commented and said that hopefully that they didn't throw this car on the auction. Um, basically started buying parts and throw this car back on the auction because the motor's blown kind of you see what I'm saying because it can go both ways. Either either they threw it back on auction because it costed too much to repair or the owner kind of just wanted it gone or the motor's blown. So guys, there's only one way to find out and is by doing this what we're gonna do right now. So let's get those things changed and let's get right into it. All right guys, well, I have pulled off the intake air box and the reason for that is because um, the AC line actually bolts up right down, right over there. But anyways, it was in the way and it was right there. I had to get it unbolted and I did get it unbolted and here's the old one right over here and it's literally pancake smushed. So I got a brand new one right over here and same part, but unfortunately this inlet was the wrong one and it didn't fit up there. I think this is the rear inlet or something. But anyways, it's a little different, but I got one on order already. That is not gonna stop us from starting up this car. But I did notice one thing, and this is not a good sign, guys. Take a look at that. You guys see that? Hang on, let the camera focus. Yeah. That is a busted motor mount. I don't know what that means, but I am hoping for the best, guys. I gotta get that part ordered and changed now. But guys, I guess let's continue the video. All right guys, well I have now changed the Vanna solenoids and both of them are brand new right over there. They look excellent. And actually I can tell this is the bottom one and this is the top one. The reason for that is because this connector is still here and on the old Vanna solenoid, uh, the bottom one is there and the top one isn't. So I know which one goes where. But anyways, um, on this top one right over here, I'm actually gonna try and take apart this connector and install these pins into the new um, connector that we got right here. 
I'm gonna try and install them into these pins and hopefully it works out. But this bottom one, we actually have to rewire it because it's broken right there, ripped on that and the pins are shot. But anyways guys, let's go ahead and start taking this apart and plug these puppies up and then go work on the rear battery safety terminal. Anyways guys, we have gotten them swapped out and they are right over here and I went ahead and electrical taped this one to the other wire, that way it wouldn't touch the motor just because we extended the wire a little bit right here, I wrapped it around that just so it wouldn't be touching the motor and potentially burn through. But yeah guys, they are connected, everything is, seems to be excellent and actually on my Instagram story, I just popped this picture up right over here and someone reached out to me and said, hey I got you a inlet. So I'm gonna go and pull that off and swap that right over here and right now. A few moments later. Damn, look at that lighting. Ooh, just kidding. Anyways, guys, I am now back from picking up the correct inlet. And shout out to the guy who hooked it up for free. And thank you to the guy that didn't accept my offer for the used inlet on eBay. Um, anyways, guys, let's get back to work. I'm super motivated to get this thing fired up for you guys tomorrow. So we got to get this inlet on here and then probably reassemble everything. And then tomorrow um, we can start doing the battery safety terminal and everything when it's light outside. So, yeah, guys. Let's keep working. What is up guys, next morning here, and last night it got dark in us, but the progress for the night was actually getting this inlet pipe changed out, AC line, the Vanus uh, solenoids changed out, all that stuff changed out, and we are very, very close to getting this thing started up. So, guys, let's get this intake box back in the vehicle. It's right here on the ground. I didn't have time to put it in last night. That's literally what I hate about winter. It gets dark at like 6 p.m., which is very, very, very unfortunate. But anyways, uh, let's get that back in there, install this intercooler, um, because I think... I think that should be on there for it to run. And then hopefully it fires up and none of these pulleys are bent, none of that none of that like junk extra problems like we did find with the uh, engine mount being cracked or engine bracket. And then yeah guys, we gotta change that battery safety terminal and fire this puppy right up. Let's go. Alright guys, well, we have gotten everything up front, done what we needed to, and I went ahead and put the intercooler on and it bolted right on, perfect fit, and look at that, man, it kind of looks like a car already, but anyways, everything up front is done, got the intake airbox on, I went ahead and pulled the cowl off, it wasn't bolted out or anything, I just had it up laid over there just so it wouldn't be laying around, but anyways guys, let's go change that rear battery safety terminal. All right guys, well now I am filming off my iPhone and the reason for that is because I got the camera up front right over there basically to make sure that nothing leaks or anything when I do start the car for a quick second, I'll take a look at the camera and then we'll fire it up for a couple of seconds just to see how long it runs for. But guys, more of truth, look at that. Start up in three, and y'all let me turn this music off. Start up in three, two, one. No, dude, that, can we kill it? Take a look up front. We got anything here leaking or anything? It's very crucial to check. No absurd amount of oil anywhere out of these pumps or anything. Seems to be good. Let's give it a start up for a couple seconds. 15, 20 seconds. We probably can do more, but there's no reason for that. Oh yeah. Bone stock, it's literally bone stock, guys. She runs, oh yeah. That's pretty 
pretty deep sound. It sounds really good. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and kill it. Yes, 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 this car is gonna be fixed. Guys, fired up, absolutely no problem. You guys heard that, I just started right up. Anyways, guys, let's start working on the interior, getting all these ugly broken airbags replaced because we got all of them already. The roof one came in, all that stuff's gotta be changed out by the end of this video. This interior has gotta be perfectly done. All right guys, back on the camera now and the first airbag we're gonna change is this driver one right over here. And it is very, very, very easy to change. I got the battery off already, so make sure the battery's off before you change any airbags. And I wanna show you guys a quick tip on how I remove them and change them. And just to show you guys um, how to check if these airbags have ever been changed before. So how to get it off is you must puncture a hole inside the steering wheel right over here. Let me get my camera to focus. You guys can tell the very soft spot right there. You kind of see that shadow? So yeah, see that soft spot? I must puncture a hole there in order for me to get this airbag off. So if there's no hole puncture, that means that this airbag has never been changed. So guys, let me show you guys how I do it. I grab a Torx bit like this just because it has a de decent surface area. And then I puncture it and find the pin. And then wiggle around until you find the pin. Pull that pin, pull one side, and then do the other side. I'll show you guys. Let's go. All right, guys. Well, it was really hard to set up the camera. But I hope you guys can see that soft spot right over here. And hopefully the camera is focused on it. But anyways... Get that Torx bit, go ahead and puncture it. See how there's a hole now, boom, hole. And then find the pin. Really hard in the beginning to find the pin, but once you know what you're looking for, or the, oh, there it is. See that side popped off. So now we gotta repeat that same, see that? It's loose here. Look at this. See it's loose here? So now let's repeat the same exact procedure on the other side and get this airbag fully off, guys. Okay, basically what I'm pressing is this right here. See that moving right there? Yep, and that's how the airbag comes off because it's on clips right over here. Let's get it swapped out and continue working. Alright guys, well we have gotten the curtain airbag off. It is right over here and these ones are much easier to change than the ones I've had in the past. See this one's on a screw right here and there's a couple bolts over there. And the ones I've had in the past on BMW are rivets. These, if these are on rivets, gosh does this make this job just a hundred times harder. But anyways, we got it out and here's the damage on the curtain airbag or the curtain. What am I saying? The headliner, here's the damage there. And I'm thinking I'm gonna rewrap this headliner in a suede, something to match the door cards. Um, let me know, comment down below. I think that'd look pretty good. But for now, we gotta get this airbag back in here. And yeah, it'll look good for now until we get that rewrapped. Let's keep working, guys. All right guys, well anyways, I fast forwarded that part extremely quick and the reason for that is because the outside is super bright and the inside is pitch black so I had to crank the ISO just so you guys can see what I'm doing. Anyways, this uh, current airbag is already changed and everything is looking perfect. Everything got back into its position and you can hardly tell that the uh, headliner was even ripped. I tucked away all the rips under this and it looks perfect. But anyways, we're still gonna get that done regardless. 
Uh, we got one more seat belt to change, which is also considered an airbag, which is the driver one over there. And after that, the interior for airbags is all done. Hopefully I can hook up my computer and clear that code. Guys, after that, we can assemble the rear seats because they did disassemble them. And the reason for disassembling, I think, is for them to get into the trunk. Because remember the M2, I had the same issue. I couldn't get into the trunk. So you guys uh, commented saying, go through this, go through that. None of that stuff works, man. I'm telling you, it's hard to get into that trunk. And the bolts are loose on some of the seats back there, things like that. But anyways, let's go ahead and swap that last seat belt and hopefully the airbag light goes off. Alright guys, well the whole interior and the rear is assembled now, it's a little bit dusty and whatnot, but I am going to do a full detail when the car is done. Um, got the current airbag in right over there, Ed is actually doing a test, making sure that all the interior is all together. How's it feel? It's good. It's good, like brand new basically. Anyways, I got the computer right over here and now it's time to see if we can get that airbag light off. Alright guys, well I got the little handheld computer hooked up and as you guys can tell the airbag light is on right over there. and. I honestly don't know if it'll go away or not. Hopefully, hopefully it does go away because a lot of times like pretensioners and things like that can be blown or SRS modules, computers, things like that. So moment of truth, I lost my pen so I'm gonna use something like this. But anyways, cable and then go to BMW, BMW, search. There you go, found the module, okay. ECU identified, okay, now we read the fault code. Uh, let's read the fault code. And the fault code, snap. Fault code has a lot of stuff stored on here. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different codes on here. Um, let's see if they go away. Clear. And no, it did not go away. So let's see what we got left. Belt tensioner driver. So apparently this one right here is still blown, guys. That's the last code we do have left. And after we get this fixed, we can have the airbag light off. But yeah, that's the last code, guys. On side note, guys, we're actually going to go ahead and pull that pre-tensioner off and set it in to get repaired. That way, when we're done with the car, all the seat belts are done in time. So yeah, let's pull that thing off right now. Got to pop the seat off. Bend it over a little bit and yank that pretensioner off, guys. Pretty straightforward, not a big problem. Let's get right into it. is and as you guys can tell it's a little bit crunched and yeah it's blown anyways this has got to be rebuilt so we're gonna set it right here but we're actually gonna reinstall this back in here that way I can still sit in the car if I need to move it or anything anyhow guys we have gotten it back on without the pretensioner but just for now obviously we're not gonna be driving or anything um, with that said guys, I want to show you guys something special, so stay tuned, let's go. Alright guys, well this is the special part of the video that I've been waiting for for extremely, extremely long. We have merch, finally guys, a lot of you guys have been commenting asking when will merch be out, things like that, if I do have any merch out 
and it is finally out. In the beginning of the video, I said there may be a link in the description, but there definitely is. So be sure to check out that link. And if you guys like any of the designs, be sure to cop yourself one of them hoodies or shirts or anything you guys like. I'll be forever, forever grateful. Let's just go through what we have here. We have the long sleeve t-shirt, very subtle design in the corner. Look at that quality of the print. Man, these are amazing. Anyways, we got the white on black, simple M stripes BYB, Backyard Boys. And then we got white on black. This one actually, one of my favorites. I don't know, the quality of this print is very high. Look at that, you can literally read Backyard Boys on the glass of the car in a sticker form. Pretty crazy. But anyways guys, that's the merch giveaway winner. And then we have our samples. So these are the samples I've went through. Bunch more samples here, just testing quality, testing this and that. I like it. I like it now. I'm very satisfied, guys. But anyways, we have gotten a ton of work done on the 1M, and I appreciate you guys for staying to the very end. And guys, stay tuned for the next video. The next video, we're actually going to go ahead and put the radiator assembly, all that stuff in the front end, assemble the majority of the car, and we are still waiting for a couple more parts. I apologize. My room is dirty and messy because of all the parts I've been ordering for a couple of cars, actually. But anyways... If you guys are new to this channel, lightly tap that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications because from my side, I'm out.